All right, before I just go ahead and start assembling the chassis, <coughs> there's a little tip I'm gonna demonstrate for you. So with the motor mount, using the 46 tooth spur gear that comes with it, you can't really get the engine mount. It, when the gears are brand new, it'll go over far enough, but as they wear, you end up with your gear mesh being pretty loose because you can't get the motor mount over any further. So all I do is take a Dremel <clears throat> and it don't take very much and just extend these holes out a little bit so that you can move the motor mount over a little bit. And it's just, it's just way better to do it whenever you got a brand new empty chassis than it is to do it later on when you need to do it. Like I said, when the gears are brand new, you can get the motor over far enough, but as they wear, you can't, there's no more left to do, so. That's about all it takes is just that little bit extra. So it don't, it don't take a lot. You just need to be able to just barely move it over just a tiny bit further. Not, not bad at all. Another thing, I do run the one piece motor mount. Just uh not a required thing, but I do feel like it's a really good option. Stiffen the chassis all the way around the motor case. Take the flex out of the center of the chassis with a solid one-piece mount and the flex out of your engine case. All good things. You don't want your engine case to uh, crack due to excessive flex. That is something that can happen. So... You don't want that to happen. Engine case costs way more than this motor mount does. Check this up in the drill. I'm not lock tightening these right now. I'm just I'm gonna put the motor mount on there and then I'll when I put the motor in I'll set I'll set this
<coughs> All right, there is the motor mount installed. Next thing I'm going to do is put the steering posts on. Lock tight these for sure. Next thing I'm going to do, bolt the rear end up. I've already greased the ring and pinion off video. I use white lithium. It stays on the gears the best in my opinion. And it just goes on super clean. It's also pretty thin so it don't create a ton of excess drag or anything like that. And don't fling inside there and make a big mess either. So I like that. Nothing fancy here, just bolting it together. And I'll take my wrench and I'll uh, double check all of those. Okay, next up will be the ch rear chassis brace to the chassis. <clears throat> the stock braces use these lock nuts, so they have longer screws, so I've got shorter screws out of my, my toolbox, screw box, whatever. Definitely want to make sure you lock tight these. But it's super awesome having that pre threaded like that. You just lock tight it, and it lines up so perfect and just super, super easy. It's just like a perfect fit. Can't ask for a better fit than that. And it's secured with three screws. So if you happen to have a screw fall out, you're still in good shape. So that's pretty cool too how they did three screws like that. I like it. So there's the rear end. Bolt it up. Nice clean. Aluminum chassis brace, super free rear end, I like it. Next up we will assemble the front end. I only have one, so I'm going to have to order some, but for this to take some of the play out, I use a six millimeter shim on the posts. Just one shim down on the post before you put the servo saver on. That's all it takes. And I only have one right now, so I'm going to order myself some more. Drop on your servo saver. Make sure it's super. Free. You don't want any resistance on that. I want that super, super free. And uh, then we'll bolt the front end up. Make sure you put the drive shaft on under.
the chassis brace. There's only two screws that hold the front one on, but that's still plenty good. Nice to have an extra one and not just one screw. Always nice to have that extra security. But if you Loctite these super good, you'll never have to worry about them falling out. Never had one come out. But it is something you want to always double check for mains and stuff like that. So there we go. Coming right along. Let me put the uh, screws here for the servo saver. You're going to want to put Loctite on these, but because it has to go down through this tube, you're going to want to run your fingers through it and just make sure the Loctite's only in the threads and not globbed on there. Actually, when you bolt this down, it kind of pulls this apart some more. So these are now super, super free. So it's good that I didn't shave those down anymore because now that this is all bolted together. It actually loosens it up some, but they're perfect. No play, no binds. They're perfect. Okay, dokie. Now then, I can show you. I was talking about with the play with this shim I put the shim on this side and you can check that up and down movement it just barely has any play whatsoever almost none but there's just enough there there's no bind then you go to the other side where there's no shim and you can see how much up and down play there is on that post quite a, quite a lot so that's the reason why I put that shim on there. Take that away. <clears throat> All right, now we'll bolt the center diff up. It's kind of a pain with these metal shims to do, but we'll get by. Tilt it up on the side like this. At least get two screws started and then you can get the rest. Not too bad, you can kind of line that up. Just hold pressure down on it and get the screw through. And get it right started, no problem. Just like that. this in here and line that up and screw it right together. Now what I do to make sure that these get 
don't get twisted when I tighten them down is I'll actually do one at a time and I'll push on the center diffs evenly on both sides holding pressure against that and then I'll tighten it both these front ones down while holding down pressure on it so I know that the mount gets bolted in there nice and straight and don't get cocked and then I'll do the same thing on the other side There you have it, all bolted up, what we built so far, everything's nice and free, I'll bolt the side guards on off the video, there's nothing to, nothing to talk about there, just put a drop of Loctite in each one, screw them down.